deeper, she missed one thing. The horrifying reflection in the mirror that only us viewers saw. She's not alone. Welcome. It's late. I know that I shouldn't be doing this, but I couldn't resist it. I'm on the dark web again. I've been scrolling through different pages for hours now. Maybe half an hour ago, I saw a countdown to a live video that would start at 10 minutes past 11. It's only one minute left now. I don't know what to expect other than the title, The Candle Game. Three, two, one. I see a woman on the screen. She is standing in a large room. It looks like she has been crying. It does not look like she wants to do this. Hello, welcome back. You will watch us live performing the candle ritual. We will try to summon spirits. We have prepared everything. So now it's time to begin. All the windows have been covered and all the lights are turned off. My partner have placed a candle in each room inside the house and at the end of each hallway. I have no idea where they are. I have placed one candle inside this room, in front of the door, over there. She points towards a lit candle. The doors are closed inside the house. I have just woken up inside this room. That is a crucial part. I can't take my eyes away from the video. It's probably just a way to prank the audience, but something feels strange. I open another tab on my computer, and I look up the ritual. It's as the girl says. If you don't wake up at exactly 10 minutes past 11 by your alarm, you have to lay down on your bed, inside the pitch black room, facing the ceiling. You can't move until 6 a.m. And you can't, under any circumstances, look around inside the room or under the bed. I had to get up and light the candle before starting this live, since I only had one minute to do that. Otherwise... The girls start shaking, but continue. I have to knock on the door three times now. She walks over to the door. I'm ready to play. She picks up the candle, opens the door, place the candle outside, and close the door behind her when she walks out from the room. She is holding a GoPro so we can see everything. It's creepy. I'm just waiting for a jump scare. She's breathing heavily. She walks over to the first candle and light it. She continues walking up to the first door and knock three times on it. Okay, this one should be safe. I can't hear anything. She opened the door and started looking for the candle. I have three minutes to find it. She sees the candle, walk up to it and light it. But she missed one thing. The horrifying reflection in the mirror that only us viewers saw. She is not alone. I want to scream at her to run away. She starts to walk around again. She lights three more candles inside different rooms. Then, she makes the worst mistake she could have made. She trips. She lands on the floor with a hard bang and she accidentally look under the bed. I can't breathe. What is that? She screams and starts running, but the creatures under the bed are way faster. The creatures quickly crawls forward in clumps, with detached jaws and inhumane eyes. And then, the livestream turns off. 
I am sitting in my bed. And then I hear it. The crawling. But this time it's in my room. I lay down on my bed and face the ceiling. Don't look. Don't look. All I have to do is lay here until 6 a.m.